Women who depend on these trees say they should make more money from the nuts that fall from them. The nuts produce natural oil which is made into shea butter, a skin moisturizer and treatment for dry skin conditions. It's also an ingredient in many skincare products. The women process the butter mainly by hand because they can't refine, package and label it. It's sold for one and a half dollars a litre. The price in the shops is at least $30. It's the middlemen. Those are our challenges. The middlemen buy from there at the, at the cheapest price and they take it somewhere and sell it at the highest price. An industry body called the Global Share Alliance says the trade will be worth $50 billion by 2020. Nigeria grows almost half the world's shea butter trees. The shea butter being produced in this community has been sold to a Nigerian who plans to export it to the United States. Every year, Nigeria loses over $1.7 billion in potential profits from the export of shea butter. That's according to the Nigeria Export Promotion Council. The government agency says local producers don't have the skills to meet import rules in the most profitable markets, the US and Europe. Quality is, is one of the main challenges we, we do have. We looked at it, it's training, you know, the growers first. You know, we train them through best practices. This trade fair in Lagos was organized to showcase the best of shea butter products. Industry leaders say quality is being improved. One of the problems is high levels of naturally occurring fatty acids. We have loads of processing centers, but we're also putting quality in place in those centers, such as, such as um, we're working on putting lab, like a mini lab in each center, so we're able to process and at the same time check the quality of the butter before it's been exported or before it's been sent out of the processing center. Small-scale shea butter producers are hoping they will have more money in their pockets and benefit from some of the investment being made in the industry. But industry leaders say they need more than $2 billion worth of investment to realize its full potential. Not easy to find with the economic downturn. Yvonne Dege, Al Jazeera, Niger State.